Uh, next up we have coming up uh, Malika. She's a uh, organizer with the RISD SJP. Uh, so Woo! please give a warm welcome. Last night, Israel wiped out an entire family with an airstrike. Eight children, two women, they are the Abu Haddad family. Anywhere else in the world, it would be obvious that this is not okay. No. No. It would no. be obvious that bombing hundreds of civilians is not okay. No. But there is an ease with which I see Palestinian suffering dismissed and its people vilified. There is an ease that is far too familiar to what is happening to black people in this country. In the last couple of months, we have watched again as black and brown children are killed by American police, just as we watch now as Palestinian children are bombed by Israeli forces. In both cases, children are demonized and cited as the cause of their own deaths. In both cases, we have to fight and explain why it's wrong to kill a child. In both cases, we are told that it's too complicated, or even that it was for the greater good. What greater good? Yeah. I'm here as a core member of RISD Students for Justice in Palestine, but I'm here speaking first as a black woman in America, standing in solidarity with Palestine. I became involved with RISD SJP because I stand with the people of Palestine. I recognize that what they are experiencing is not a conflict. It's settler colonialism. Yes. It's apartheid. It's ethnic cleansing. Yes. It's a yes. genocide. Yes. 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 recognize that it is not removed from what is going on here in this country and that this country has a hand in their oppression and that I have a role and a responsibility to do my part in aiding in the Palestinian fight for liberation. Angela Davis, Malcolm X, Huey P. Newton, and the Black Panthers are just a few prominent black leaders that have recognized the deep links between the U.S. prison industrial complex, racial violence, and pol Palestinian political incarceration. These technologies of oppression are not just operating in parallel, they are intimately intertwined. Not only does the U.S. government give $3.8 billion in military aid to Israel each year, but U.S. Metropolitan Police Forces receive training in Israel. The same surveillance technologies and security contractors engaged to quell protests in the U.S. are also used by the Israeli military. So when I say that we are fighting a common enemy, I don't mean it loosely or poetically. I mean, we are fighting the same common enemy. That's right. That's right. I also want to acknowledge that Palestinians always show up for black lives. During the protests in Ferguson after the police killing of Michael Brown in 2014, Palestinians took to social media to share instructions for how to treat tear gas. Last summer, following the lynching of George Floyd in Minneapolis, where I'm from. George Floyd's image was painted on the separation barrier built around the occupied West Bank. After the fatal Israeli police killing of Ayad al-Halak, an unarmed Palestinian man in Jerusalem, protesters in Palestine held up posters with al-Halak's image next to, the, next to that of George Floyd's, gearing the slogan, from the USA to Palestine, racism is a crime. Yeah. That's right. yeah. easy to get overwhelmed and to, to, to start becoming hopeless. There is also something that happens when we begin to speak of the history of the occupation. Perhaps you begin to feel as though this has been going on for so long and that it's impossible to change. To that I say my grandmother is older than Israel. Yeah. To that I say Israel is only capable of committing these crimes with the help of its allies, of its allies like the U.S. Yep. To that I say that the systems of oppression, to that I say that if the systems of our oppression are interlinked, what if our resistance was too? Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, 
I want to end in a prayer. In Islam, when someone passes away, we say, Verily we belong to Allah and verily to Him do we return. May the martyred Palestinians live forever in the highest level of paradise. May the Israeli monsters and their enablers be held accountable for their crimes, be it in this life or the next. May the oppressors burn in hell. Long live Palestine! Long live Gaza!